Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an MSI laptop. This is the MSI Katana GF6611UC. The exact model would be MS-1582. And in this video, I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can clean up the fan system, the heat sink and repaste yours. You might want to repaste, clean up your laptop once every year, at least depending how often you use and the environment that you're using and how dusty it is. And through my experience, I found out that most people, they do need the replacement of the thermal paste and cleaning of the fan system every year or at least every 16 months. All right, if you find yours is that overheating, you might want to do it once in a while. This is not a benchmark or anything like that. You can use a different thermal paste. I highly recommend you guys to use the best one, which is a Thermal Grizzly Extreme. These are one of the best thermal paste out there. But if you want to go a little bit of budget friendly, go with an Arctic MX4 or MX5. I'll leave the links in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. Just to remember by doing any repaste cleaning, you're not going to change anything in the system. Everything is going to be the same way that you left before. I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using and I'll leave everything, all the tools that I use in a video description so you can purchase yours. Tool number one and the most important one is a good screwdriver set is a very important to have. I use the iFixit screwdriver set. This is the basic set that only includes the screwdriver. These are made out of the S2 class steel. We're going to use a Phillips number zero. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, just get the basic set for the opening tools. Use a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. You need a plastic spatula, a curved tweezers, old or used or new toothbrush, a thermal paste, a very important alcohol, 99% or 95% at least, isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol, a workshop towel. I highly recommend you guys to grab a workshop towel. Don't use any microfiber or anything like that. The workshop towels are really good to do servicing because as soon as you put alcohol on top and you wipe over the components, the workshop towel will rip apart before the components get damaged. If you use a microfiber, the microfiber can get tangled in on top of the capacitors and you can rip them apart. So one sheet of this one, Number one, you want to power off the laptop. Make sure it's powered off completely. Now, on the bottom of the laptop, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. We're going to remove all the screws. All the screws are the same size and height, except one screw, which is this one over here by the fan exhaust on the right side. So we're going to remove this tiny screw, and we're going to put it to one side. Now, we're going to remove the rest of the screws, and the rest of the screws are all the same size. So go ahead and start from one corner and remove them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you, if you want to find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, now that we removed all the screws, what do you want to do? You want to grab the opening tool. Just double check, make sure you haven't missed any screw. You want to bring it up like this and you want to stick the opening tool or the guitar pick between the palm rest and the bottom cover just like that. Wiggle it around and it will go right through there. About two or three millimeters and you just want to twist it like that and you want to hear those click sounds. Once you do that in the front side, go do, I'm going to stick only about two or three millimeters. I'm not sticking the whole guitar pick in there. Do the corner sides, left and right. All right, once you do the left and right and the front end, you want to grab it from the front corners, wiggle it around, and then you want to feel the back is coming out. Just do like this, and then you will release the back end. And you can see this one is heavy because there's a metal plate in here to compensate for the missing hard drive, so the laptop won't go towards the back. All right, right away we can see the nice heat pipes, two fans, one small, one big. And the RAM's right in here. Before we do anything, we're gonna disconnect the battery by pulling this jack backward. You wanna pull it back straight, just like that. Don't put it sideways, straight back. Now we can work on the uh, laptop. We're gonna remove this Captain tape right in here. This is for an LCD screen. 
Now remove the cap on tape. Lift up this jack by putting your finger under this connector, lift up 90 degree, and lift up this connector, pull it back, untangle it around the fan, so you leave it like that. We're gonna remove these fan connectors. I like I don't like yanking on the cable, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my fingers on the side of the jack. I'm gonna pull them up like this, work it around, and it will come out. So I don't have to stress the cables. Same thing on the left and on the, on the right side. So work it around and it will eventually come out. There we go. Once we disconnected the fans and the cable for the LCD, we're gonna remove this metal bracket right away here. It's a supporting bracket. Now put the supporting bracket to one side. There's a one tiny screw, one big screw. All right. And now we're gonna remove three screws for the fan on the left side. We're gonna remove two screws for the fan on this side. All the screws are the same size. Now we're gonna remove the rams by pulling these triggers away. Bring it there. Pull this cover up. Remove the other trigger. You don't need to, but I like it because that way it's not bothering me. I'm going to rip this one as an adhesive so now I can see better. Remove the three screws for the CPU heatsink and then four screws for the GPU. So three right there, and for the CPU, there's a rubber legs on top of the screws. They have a little seal lock on the GPU side, so it will not come out entirely. You just have to rotate them until you hear a click sound. That's all you want to do. And then you want to lift it up, bring it upward like this. And there we have it. You can see the thermal paste, it is very dry on the CPU and on the GPU. The thermal pads are good. This is a three millimeter thermal pad. This is a you know, 0.5 millimeters, 0.5, 0.5 millimeters thermal pads. The rest is 0.5 except this row right in here, which is a three millimeters thermal pads. Now, you can take it outside and clean it. Use a toothbrush to clean up the fans and stuff like that. Now, if you want to remove the fan in here, you can switch to a Phillips double zero, and you want to remove this is tiny screw, this is screw, and this is screw right in here. Once you remove these three screws, the fan will come out from the bottom side. It will just come out. In here, same thing. There are two, one, two, three screws. We remove those three screws, and the fan will just come out from here, and you can just clean it up. Or you can just clean it up with a toothbrush through here, blow some air through here, and everything will come out. All right. To clean up the heatsink and the CPU, grab one sheet of the workshop towel, soak it in an alcohol, and we're gonna rub over the CPU, remove the excess of the thermal paste first with one pass. You might wanna use another workshop, a little bit of more for the GPU. And then you just want to rub it on top. Make sure you put plenty of alcohol on the towel. So this is what I'm talking about. You see this towel gets tangled around the capacitors, but it will not damage the capacitors. All right. Once you clean it up nicely, use a dry part. Rub on top of the crystal die. Make sure it's nice and clean. And we're going to clean up the GP in the heat sink too. So. Clean up the heatsink. Grab your thermal paste. In this case, I'm using Arctic MX4. You can do a one line on top of the CPU and one drop in the middle of the GPU, like that. Okay. Now, what you want to do, you want to grab the fan system, bring it over. Set it down, make sure this cable goes like that. 
once you put it down, you do not lift it up again. You don't want to lift it up again. You want to tie up these screws. You want to cross screw them. Always cross screw these ones. There we go. Now we put the three screws for the CPU. There we have it. Grab the RAM. Put the RAM on the bottom. Make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the DIMM. Bring it down in 45 degree. Push it towards the motherboard. Put this RAM cover on top. You don't need to, but you can put it if you want to. Again, put this other one on top and then push it towards the motherboard. And there we have it. Now put the three screw, two screws for the fan on the right side. One right under the cable. So it makes it easy to put the cable later on. Right away, I like to put the connectors for the fan connectors. Just push them down inside the jack. They only go in one way. Put the three screws for the left side fan. Now you want to grab this cable, you want to tangle it around the fan, bring it like that, make sure the lock is open, bring it down in 45 degree right inside the jack, all the way in, and then lock it down. Okay, grab this bracket right in here, put it right in there, put a tiny screw right over, and tighten up the screw on the other side. There we have it. This rubber legs, put it one on top of this screw and one on top of this other screw right there. So this touch the bottom cover so you can have a, the cover doesn't go down inside out. Right, once we have that one in there, now you want to connect the battery is straight inside the jack. Tangle the cable there. Grab the bottom cover. Put it straight right on top. You want to push the corner, the back end. You want to hear those click sounds. That's what you want to hear. If you see any opening or anything like that, in case things like this, and you want to pinch them together, and it will go to its place. And the last thing is to, on the bottom of the laptop, put a tiny screw by the heat sink right here. And the rest of the screws, they go all around. Again, I hope you guys like this video and I hope you guys to do your own service for your MSI laptop, Katana GF66. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comments. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm just going to finish up putting up the bottom screws.